What's up guys and welcome back to NBA 2K19. Uh, today <laughs> we're we're checking our wrist without a watch, bro. Life is rough. We just got a brand new crib. We're out of the prelude, fresh off the boat from China, but uh, we literally have nothing. We're in like some some gray sweatpants, some 2K sneakers, and a plain brown t-shirt. I think it's time that uh, we go down to the street, bro. We we got to we got to kind of work on our, our fit a little bit, maybe get some on-court accessories. I don't know if we necessarily need a haircut yet. Eventually, we're going to do that. We're going to mix things up, change things up, and keep it fresh throughout this series. But uh, I say I say we for sure glow up a little bit, you know, start looking a little bit better. And then uh, also, we're going to hit the gym. Oh, my goodness. This is way different than what it was what it was last year. Holy cow. All right, so we've got the training facility. And the team practice center over on the right. On the left here, we've got the NBA shop. We've got the barber shop. Dude, this is... It, it's a giant square now, which honestly is much better. Previously, it was a, a little bit... I mean, it was like a, a very... Wheels. That's dope. Tattoo shop. Ooh. We might have to get some tats, too, for sure. All right, we're going to go in... We're going to go in swags first, I think. Main Street Clothing. Alright. But yeah, last year was like a weird like L. Hi, welcome to Swags. My name's Casey. Uh, feel free to take a look around and let me know if you need anything. Alright, cool. Thanks. Uh, Alright. Looks good to me. So, uh, I'm gonna say... Some of this stuff we don't even have unlocked yet, dude. I'm gonna say, let's take a look at, uh... Let's take a look at pants and shorts. I say we get some moto jeans. I like it. Great choice. Hey, is it cool if I try this on? Of course. Fitting rooms in the back. We'll go ahead and try these bad boys on, see what we're looking like. We need some good off-court apparel and some good on-court apparel. So I feel like that's a good start. Super basic. Anybody can use moto jeans in their closet. So that looks good to me. And then uh, up top, we're going to go to shorts. Ooh, premium. Should we go premium clothes? What do you guys think? T-shirts, hoodies, long sleeve pants. Ooh, dress shirts? Bro, I'm kind of down for a dress shirt. Got a dress to impress, baby. What about something like this? I like it. Great choice. Why are we... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I love the dress shirt, to be honest. Um, hoodies, t-shirts, text, graphic. I'm gonna go with the black. We're gonna keep it super, super simple for now. Like I said... I want to get into the games. I want to have fun. I don't, I don't want to do anything too too crazy. But, uh, all right, so we're going to grab that. Let's go ahead and take out that flannel shirt. $3,800. Go ahead and cash right, out I here. Looks good. I'm going with this. Great choice. I can't wear it out. We're going to have to hit the NBA team shop, too. I'm just going to kind of take a look at... Uh, Take a look at everything we got. We're definitely gonna have to go with uh, go with Foot Locker too. All right, boys, let's get it. Enter Foot Locker, and then we're gonna go back to the NBA shop. I say we get like a Welcome to compression Foot sleeve or Let me something. Know how I can help you. Thanks, man. Sounds good, bro. All right, so we're we're in all black, pretty much. Let's take a look at at for Park. What do we have for Adidas? Some decent options there. Jordan. Decent options here. We have different options for colors and stuff. Reebok, Under Armour, Air Jordan. A lot of options there. We could go with some Chucks, dude. That honestly wouldn't look bad for our current fit. Dude, I'm let's let's go with the all. Let's go with the all black look. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that. Yeah, these are the ones. Let's do it. You got it. Chucks are a classic, bro. You can't. You can't be mad at it. Do they have the custom T-shirts this year, like we had last year? You could get like Big Baller brand and stuff like that. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look my best. You know what I mean? All right. Uh, let's see what we got going on, on our phone. Nothing really. Messages. Nothing crazy. We also, I mean, we got to use our time wisely. We're going to hit some of our promotions. I know you can do that from your your main, what's it called? I say we get a uh, we get a tat and our first NBA win. We don't have an NBA win yet, so. Wheels. Is this for, for like, 
Aren't there like scooters and stuff? 85 overall to access the hottest rides in the neighborhood. All right, so we gotta get our, gotta get our clout up first, bro. I just realized we should have got some on-court shoes from Foot Locker. We might have to go back. Thanks for coming in. If you need anything, let me know. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, brother. All right, uh, shirts and hoodies, pants and shorts, NBA Nike jerseys, on-court accessories, to sot watches. I'm trying to get some watches, bro. Am I not big enough yet? All right, I'm gonna say let's get a, uh, a left arm compression sleeve. Angular or just left, left arm sleeve? I like that. See if we want anything else. Wrist tape, socks, tall socks. I'm down for it. All right. Hey, this is exactly what I need. Thanks. You're welcome. See you soon. All right, bro. Let's head back to the ABA shop. Go, or the, the Foot Locker shop. Go back down the street. Because your boy's an idiot. And uh, we're going to pick up some, some on-court shoes. And then I think it's going to be time to, uh, to actually get out on the court. Whoa, you're back? You having second thoughts? Man, I just need to see one more thing. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. Very interactive. All right, on court. I mean, do we want to go with the Air Jordans? We're going to have a lot of options. Should we go with like an old school one in the Lakers colorway? Hey, can I try these out? Absolutely. So are these going to show up at our team color here? I'm assuming. The purple, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, what about these? What about these? Ooh. Those are kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. I don't really know what I want to go with, dude. Some 11s. I honestly... Oops. Those are kind of dope. I kind of like those. I, I don't, dude, I don't know what I want to go with. Bro, these hyper ducks are kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like those. Um, Shoot, dude, I really, I'm going with the Kyrie twos. I don't know, dude. There's so many good looking shoes here. Like it, it's literally impossible to pick the one that I actually, actually want. So we're just going to start with these and uh, we're going to move on from there. That looks good to me. Got to get back out there. Thanks, man. You got it. Let me know which one you guys liked. Like I said, I'm gonna constantly be like changing up haircuts, adding tattoos, switching up our wardrobe on and off the court, that sort of thing, just to kind of keep things fresh. We're gonna have fun with it, but I don't wanna take too long here in this first video. Mr. AI, I presume. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Marco Spinelli, but people just call me Spinelli. <laughs> okay, so uh, you the, uh, the doorman? The one and only, and you're my new tenant. So, I'm here day and night. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. Okay. My man Spinelli. Your guests in. I can clear out the riffraff. I can help you with your game, whatever you need. Wait a minute. You you play ball? Not really. <laughs> but I can help you if that's what you need. That's what I'm here for, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks, Spinelli. Pleasure meeting you too, as well, sir. Spinelli is I look one of my. Forward to watching your professional career blossom like a beautiful flower. Favorite. Yeah. Fingers crossed. One of my favorite characters in all of 2K, bro. Like, he kills it. All the cutscenes, all the little quips from him and stuff, he kills it. So we're back in the cribbo. I kind of wish it was a bit different from last year. Like, I, dude, I really want them to create, like, a, a lifestyle. Th how do you change... I'm trying to walk to my closet. How do you... How do you change the way you look? Crew, Pro-Am, League stats, options. Oh, customize everything about your My Player. Okay. Okay. So around the neighborhood, we're going to go with this. 
And then we're gonna go with, uh, ooh, we have a lot of shoes in here, bro. I like this. We're gonna go with the Chucks. And then we're gonna go with, on the bottoms, let's get those moto pants. Like, that honestly looks pretty good. That's a, that's a decent looking fit, I'm not gonna lie. All right, looks good to me. Welcome to the Lakers practice facility, baby. I like it. We got our boys out here putting in work. Select our badges to work on. What do you guys think? All right, boys, so first up, we're gonna work on finishing around the rim. So basically, we just wanna drive and score as much as we can in the paint here. Obviously, that's gonna be a, a huge part of our game, man. It's, uh, it's a lot of what we do is kind of work the baseline and, and drive it on people. So I'm hoping, to, hoping to, to get that up a little bit. And then we'll, we'll see where else we go from there. So got a two out of three stars, not bad there. Gonna work on our relentless finisher badge. I mean, that's solid, man. That's gonna be a, a super important skill that we're always gonna want. Uh, let's see what else we can work on. So let's select our badge to work on. Um, teardropper, Lob City Finisher, ooh. I kinda like, Posterizer, dunks on defenders more often than others, dude. 10 attempts to dunk on the defender under the basket. 10 total possessions. Hold R2 and R in any direction. I mean, I don't know if we're really ready to be posterizing people, but I'm, I'm gonna go for it. That sounds kind of fun. For real, how do you want me to dunk on LeBron? Oh, we just did. Another one, baby. Let's go. Ah, let's go. We need to, to get some some better moves but oh okay i like it this is actually kind of fun we just got a three star dunking over lebron in our first ever practice session all right i'm sure last up i'm gonna say um dude free throws are always going to be important deep range dead eye are, is always going to be important i, I kind of feel like dude i'm i'm gonna be responsible I'm gonna be responsible at the start of this. I always like working on threes and stuff, but that's gonna be right, kind of a yeah, secondary skill for us. More of like a, we'll do it when we're wide open type deal. I wanna work on like finishing around the rim, dunking, shooting free throws, that sort of thing. I think being able to hit free throws is literally gonna be an invaluable skill for us with as much as we get fouled. To have a good free throw percentage and actually be able to make most of them is gonna be really, really good, so. That's what I'm, what I'm working on here. Nice little swish. Plus, it's helping us get used to our release a little bit, although the free throw is definitely different than the jump shot. We, I mean, we also got to work on our mid-range a little, I think. Work on coming off those those picks and... Doesn't get any better than that. Picks and hitting it, but uh, not a bad practice session. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and move into our game. All right, boys. So, uh, all of our things off-court have been taken care of. They've been handled. And now all we have to do is worry about performing. This is it, fellas. This is uh, technically our second NBA game, but I feel like this is, is really truly our first one. The last one we had was just kind of like a trial. We were on a one-day contract. We weren't actually a part of the team. Now this, this is our first time actually coming out onto the court as like a, a real player, like a contracted player. I think I saw Lonzo coming out behind us, yep. Walking through the tunnel for the very first time. Saying what's up to the security guards. He looks like a statue, bro. He didn't move for a minute. All right, our first ever shot on an NBA floor. We're gonna miss it. Do a little turnaround. We missed that one too. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> let's pick this up. All right, third one's the charm and we're gonna be shooting like that all night, I hope. We'll see what happens. Hopefully better than 33%. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but hopefully better than that. Hopefully we shoot only like that third one. So here we go, guys. Gonna be here in Portland to start things off. Obviously not gonna be in the starting five, but uh, that's a pretty good looking, pretty good looking squad there. We'll take it. We can work with it. We're gonna work our way into it. And we'll see what happens, boys. All right, coming into the game, 2.02 after the first decent amount of time, I'm not going to lie. I do like that. And, uh, good game so far. Woo! Let's draw that foul, baby. Looks good going up to that ball, getting 
The Lakers with LeBron wasted no time getting aggressive with it. With We've been working on our free throws, so we'll we'll take that. We don't really have a badge or anything Nays yet, but rapid succession after LeBron committed. Made Caldwell, both of them. Rondo, I like it. Joined in short order. We'll see how far Those are uh, goes, our first first points of the season right there, boys. Things have gotten with this roster. Let's see what we can do. Playing some man D. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'll take the assist. Let's go, baby. All right, so that's we're two for two in possession so far. We're looking all right. Starting to build a little bit of a lead over the uh, the Blazers here. McCollum against Rondo. I'm kind of open. We missed it, though. Guys, they deserve a lot of credit for not losing focus and letting one slip away. They came to play every time. That sucks. I didn't realize we didn't have enough time left. We're all right. I mean, we, we came in, did pretty good our first couple possessions. After that, didn't really do a whole lot, but it's our first game. I don't know what you want. We can't, can't do everything perfect. Seriously, when I'm playing the game, I'm putting certain lineups on the court that I see could actually help us in real life, which is very weird. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, okay. Greg, with basketball. And that sounds LeBron good to me, LeBron. LeBron whatever you say, bro. And eats basketball. And off we go. I guess we're just firing. We'll take it. On the floor for Portland. Stauskas is out there with Mohart. Woo! We'll take an open shot right under the basket. Looks good. Move it around. Try to get uh, try to get some space up under there. Ooh. And we're gonna get the ball back. Looks like we're gonna be taken out. We're gonna come back in with a minute 15 left in the half, dude. That's the only part that's rough, especially about early on in your career. It takes it takes a minute to get some good playing time where you can actually make a big difference, which kind of stinks. I would I would like to make a little bit bigger of a difference. Ah. I was hoping I was going to roll out. We're going to get a rebound. We just got to play really aggressive on offense, take shots when we have the option. How is that a bad shot? We were open. Take shots when we have the option and, and call for the ball as much as we can. I feel like that's going to be our key. Shot on the way. That one's in there. The Lakers Woo. lead is down now to just eight points. All right. The basket from McCullum. We Los want a Angeles quick score here so we can get the ball back. The since the start of the second quarter. For the half. Rondo kicks to Martin. Good. We'll take it. And it's Rondo who picks quick little jumper mid-range. Now we're going to be guaranteed to get that ball back, back before the half. First game in the NBA. In and the hopefully we can get a, a stop and a score the here. The I think it matured everyone on that roster. You live and learn. We'll Los call a timeout. 3.2 seconds left. I think we might be able to make something here. Why not, dude? Let's go for it. We honestly might have been able to run the fast break there. I don't know. All right. Takes a three. Oh, baby, we'll take it. <laughs> That's why we call those timeouts, baby. I did not think that was going in. Good pass. We were heavily covered, but I was going to go for it either way, bro. I'm, I'm shooting. You got to... Yeah. You gotta shoot your shot. You know what I mean. We'll take it. We'll see if they can keep up their. I like it. So we're shooting 50% from the floor. Nine points, no rebounds, one assist. I mean, for having like two, two or three minutes of total playing time, I really don't think that's that's that bad. Looks like we got a pretty good. Uh, Reese Harkless comes in for Al Farouk. Looking, 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 looking. Looks like we got a pretty good, uh, and it's Seth Curry in for Damian pretty good look for the score so far. Martin goes in over Harkless, and it falls. Oh, baby, Rangers. okay. We're making plays. I like it, dude. Well, this guy is completely in his own, and he knows it. you can see it. The body language, the confidence, real swagger out there for him. So for the Lakers right now. Gotta make sure we play some good defense perimeter. here, but we're I mean for a first Mark game, I would say this is going kind of just about Shot as well as it could. The Lakers with the rebound. Nice job. Following this one, they get to host Let's the Rockets. Split the court here. That game marks the first half of a quick Wide open. Ah, come on, we're gonna be able to hit those, man. We gotta work on our shooting. Over to the wing. Here's Hart. 
And again, it's the Lakers from deep. McCollum against Beasley. I'm taking off. Some solid defense from Ingram. Looked like he rushed the layup to me. I mean, the defense was laid on. Got to take off in those situations, bro. I just had a feeling. Really leaning on we'll take it. All right, we're up to 13 points. I mean, we're, we're making a case for ourselves, boys. In the second. Third's More not even over yet. We're one of the worst uh, worst attributes on the team, but we're, we're getting it done. Lakers leading by 23. Ingram kicks to Mark. Get it there. Rondo. Ah, we'll take it. All right, good good follow up. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on assist of the game. <laughs> it was a wide open chess pass. Boys, you're gassing me up a little bit too hard. I'm not gonna, like I, I appreciate the kind words, especially for our first game, and it's it's I'm pretty sure it had like a little TV symbol next to it on our schedule. So I don't know if that means it's like nationally televised or what. But um, gas me up a little bit too much when you're saying that's the assist of the game so far. Work ethic, self-starting, and then you try to see. If I'm open. Fact they've worked through some challenges. Let's go. How have they we'll take it. Adversity. We should have dunked I mean, that, but I think we were out of stamina. I would have liked to just, yeah. Would have been like nice, be but. We're okay. All right, boys. I mean, we're we're up by a lot, but we can't be giving them free open shots like that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make the most of the time I have them the, the court here because we're probably gonna get taken out soon. All right, so we did get taken out. We got put back in here. We're uh, we got a minute seven left. I'm taking off. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I'm a cherry pick all day, dude. Especially if it means we get the dunk and we're gonna dunking. But um. Yeah, a minute left. We won our first game. We're at 17 points right now. I'm, I might throw up a tray just to try to hit 20. To establish a site launches a three. Oh my gosh. It keeps giving me bad shot selections and we're wide open. Does this game just not want me shooting threes because I have a low a low attribute or what? I don't know, dude. Like neither one of those felt like bad ones to me, but um and Greg in enemy territory. We'll take it, boys. That's exactly right. But one and on the season had a pretty good game. Kind of regret throwing up those threes at the end. I thought we'd hit at least one out of the two. They were both decent shots. But we'll take it. I don't like that CT mate hey, grade. We've got an interview request for you. Come with me. Oh, yeah? Okay. We definitely hey, can't improve Riff on that. Bryant, thanks for talking with me. Great game tonight. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Of course. So, uh, considering this was just your first game, I'd say you held your own. How did it feel to contribute right away? Um... Teammates. Oh man, um, you know, it was great. You know, my teammates have been really amazing, just helpful, giving me advice on whatever the NBA is going to throw at me. And, uh, you know, it, it makes me uh, looking forward to contribute to whatever I can do, you know, even just a little bit. After college, you spent some time in China and then in the G League. The NBA must feel like a whole new world. Uh, you know, sort of. Like, we still playing basketball and I'm still part of a team, you know, like I was in Shanghai and, and Fort Wayne. Um, my time in both those places taught me a lot about what it means to be a teammate, and I just look forward to using that knowledge to help us get some Ws. That's refreshing to hear from someone who just finished their first game of the season. Listen, thanks again, AI, and congrats on the strong debut. Thank you. I hey, like sir. that I'm getting recognized, yeah, baby. Go. All right, man. We're getting it done. That's a good start to our career. That's, uh, I mean, it, it could have been better, but I feel like overall it was a pretty, good, pretty solid start.